Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today we are going to learn about the action potential in node of Ranveer. Action potential is the propagating change in the resting membrane of a neuron. I am going to write it. Uh, action potential is a propagating change in the resting membrane neuron uh, in other words we can also write it as a brief depolarization and repolarization in a neuron which leads to the transfer of information across the exon these are the definitions of uh, uh, action potential action potential is actually a propagating change in the resting membrane of a neuron not a simple change a propagating change the change which spread which go through the exon uh, in the diagram we can see that uh, uh, this is a neuron uh, this this is the exon part of the neuron in this exon we can see that this is the internal environment and this is the external environment in the uh, internal environment we can see that uh, internal environment is negatively charged while the external environment is a positively charged this shows a resting membrane potential resting membrane potential is a uh, is the actually the uh, electric potential of a membrane of a neuron when the neuron is in resting state when the neuron is not passing any signal when the neuron is not passing any impulse at that state the electric potential of the neuron remains uh, minus 70 millivolt which is called resting membrane potential resting membrane potential is the uh, electric potential of a neuron uh, when neuron is not passing any signal uh, we can see in the diagram that uh, normally the internal environment of the neuron uh, remains negative while the external environment uh, outside the membrane of the neuron or outside the membrane of the exon remains positive. It doesn't mean that the internal environment is completely or absolutely negative. And it also doesn't mean that the external environment of the neuron always remains positive. It means that the internal environment is comparably negative and the external environment is comparably positive. These are comparable. Comparably, uh, as comparable to the external environment, the internal environment is negatively charged. And as compared to the internal environment, the external environment is positively charged. Uh, if we go to the detail, the external environment is always neutral. The external environment of the total body of the whole body is always neutral. While the internal environment of the whole body or each and every cell of the body, every side or soul of the body is always negative. It's always neutral. It's always neutral. All the cell, side or soul, all the external environment, all the internal environment always remain neutral. But then why the internal environment is uh, is symbolized over here as negative? Why, why this is symbolized as negative? Because the internal environment is negative as compared to the external environment. It shows that the, that the internal environment is comparably negative uh, to the external environment this is com in comparison to the external environment the internal environment is negative and in comparison to the internal environment the external environment is positive though the in the external environment also contain the chlorine the chlorine ion the chlorine ion is al always negative but that is not shown over here because uh, this is comparable because the this shows the overall uh, charge of the external environment as compared to the internal environment and the internal environment also contain lot of potassium but still uh, this is symbolized as negative because the internal environment is comparably negative uh, as compared to the external environment so
uh, if we uh, if we have uh, micro electrode and we insert the micro electrode electrode into the cytosol of a neuron uh, and uh, we connect that uh, uh, micro electrode to a voltmeter uh, for the very first time the micro electrode while it was inserted into a squid uh, neuron the neuron of the squid is always very large in size that's why uh, the squid neuron squid is an animal a sea animal uh, whose neuron has been used uh, for the long been uh, for the electric potential for the action potential for the resting potential for various types of experiments regarding the action potential and resting potential and the uh, membrane of or the electric potential of the membrane of the neuron so uh, if we, we insert the the micro electrode into the uh, cytosol of a neuron and we connect that uh, uh, micro electrode to a voltmeter what will happen uh, this voltmeter is also connected to uh, to a, a reference electrode over here and that electrode is put near the membrane of the of that neuron not uh, uh, this uh, this uh, reference electrode is not connected with this membrane but this electrode is put very near to this membrane uh, this electrode is uh, in proximity with this membrane and this this electrode is inserted into the uh, cytosol of the membrane so uh, what will happen uh, when we insert it uh, into the neuron and this neuron is in uh, rest position and this neuron is at rest what will happen we will see that uh, this voltmeter will show uh, the voltage of minus 70 millivolt this this will show minus 70 millivolt this minus 70 millivolt shows that uh, this neuron is at resting position and this potential this electric potential is resting membrane potential this membrane this potential is resting membrane potential this minus 70 millivolt is resting membrane potential in which the internal environment is uh, minus 70 this minus 70 shows the uh, voltage of internal environment this do not show the voltage of external environment this shows the charge or electric potential of internal environment which is minus 70 then this is uh, this minus 70 is uh, this reading has been shown uh, as a comparable uh, parameter this this is shown as a comparable but uh, because if we put this uh, uh, electrode in, uh, inside the cytosol we cannot uh, have this minus 70 uh, um, in the absence of this electrode if we uh, also put externally an electrode then we can get this minus 70 millivolt so this uh, minus 70 millivolt is a comparable uh, reading so this comparable reading this shows the resting membrane potential of a uh, neuron uh, so uh, the resting membrane potential now coming towards the action potential and the, uh, what is the action potential action potential is uh, a condition uh, in which uh, a, a neuron is stimulated and uh, that uh, stimulus goes that stimulus is beyond 15 millivolt the intensity of that stimulus is uh, greater than or equal to 15 millivolt if the intensity of the stimulus is not greater than or not equal to 15 millivolt it will not uh, lead to action potential that will be uh, below the threshold of the uh, action potential the threshold of the action potential is 15 millivolt that should be minimum 15 millivolt if this is uh, below the 15 millivolt then that will be uh, sub threshold or electrotonic potential uh, I'm going to write uh, that for here. Sorry, this is not uh, working at the moment. Uh, so the uh, electrotonic potential electrotonic potential is uh, the potential uh, of electric uh, charge uh, below 15 electric potential or 
below 15 millivolt below 15 millivolt uh, the electric potential is called electrotonic potential so this is electrotonic potential um, electrotonic potential is uh, not going to evoke a stimulus is not going to produce an electric potential or uh, electric uh, is not going to produce a, an action potential electrotonic potential is not going to uh, this electrotonic potential is also called sub threshold potential sub threshold potential uh, if the uh, intensity of the electric potential is greater than 15 millivolt or uh, above 15 millivolt then that can evoke an action potential then that is uh, threshold uh, um, electric potential or threshold action potential so uh, i'm going to uh, explain this uh, in this uh, diagram we can see that uh, normal this is the resting state of the neuron at the resting state the neuron is having minus 70 what it is having minus 70 millivolt electric potential the membrane is having minus 70 it shows the internal environment uh, potential so uh, if we give a stimulus and the intensity of the stimulus is this is roughly about 10 millivolt if the intensity is 10 millivolt this then the, this is not going to evoke an electric uh, ele uh, evoke an action potential this is not going to propagate the signal this cannot propagate the signal what will happen this will go again to the rest but if the intensity of the again once again the stimulus is given over here and that stimulus the intensity of that stimulus is very high the, the intensity of that stimulus is greater than 15 because that is from minus 70 to uh, to 50 roughly to 50 so if the intensity of the stimulus is greater than 15 uh, then uh, it will evoke uh, an action potential and that action potential will uh, will show a very sharp peak over here this sharp peak represent the depolarization the sharp peak shows the depolarization during an action potential. Action potential is having two basic steps. One is the depolarization and the other is the repolarization. This peak shows the depolarization and this peak shows the repolarization. So uh, I am going to uh, explain it in detail. Uh, normally uh, the membrane of the this this membrane this membrane shows uh, this membrane shows outer environment outer environment shows positive charge and the inner environment shows negative charge but over here we can see an action potential action potential is the transfer of positive charge from external environment to the internal environment the transfer of positive charge from the external environment to the internal environment through the membrane and that uh, transfer of charge from the external environment to the internal environment uh, leads to the uh, to the change to change in electric potential and that change in e electric potential is actually uh, action potential which ranges from minus 70 to plus 30 uh, when we measure that uh, through, with the help of electrode that uh, action potential will reach from minus 70 to plus 30 the this can uh, can be shown in this uh, diagram that uh, when the resting membrane potential when, which was minus 70 as we have uh, figured out in the previous diagram over here that was minus 70 but if uh, the this membrane is passing signal this membrane is passing action potential uh, what will happen this uh, this will go from minus 70 to the plus 30 and that going from minus 70 to um, plus 30 is actually depolarization step up action potential and that uh, we can see over here that this is the depolarization that the charge the positive charge is going inside normally what happened during depolarization and 
uh, repolarization and the, the whole action potential. Action potential is having two main steps. I'm going to write it in detail. Action potential is having two main steps. Uh, number one, the depolarization. And number two, the repolarization. What happens in uh, depolarization and what happens in repolarization? These are two basic steps of the uh, action potential. What happens in uh, depolarization and what happens in the repolarization? Uh, this can be go, uh, explained from the molecular level that uh, this is a membrane and this membrane is having number of uh, channel, large number of channel. Uh, this blue color channel represent the voltage gated channel. This blue color channel is also voltage gated channel and this blue color channel is also voltage gated channel. This is also voltage gated channel. But uh, some of these voltage gated channel are sodium voltage gated channel and some of these are potassium voltage gated channel. This should be kept in mind that uh, this is sodium voltage gated channel and this is potassium voltage gated channel. Again, this is sodium voltage gated channel and this is potassium voltage gated channel. And the voltage gated channel, the speciality of the voltage gated channel is that it will get open if it come in contact with the voltage, if it come in contact with the charge, if it can come in contact with a uh, with an electric potential uh, or action potential, so what will uh, are with a stimulus uh, having uh, the intensity greater than 15 millivolt or equal to 15 millivolt, what will happen? This voltage gated channel will get open. Voltage gated channel are always open or uh, during the uh, during the active state of the neuron. The voltage gated channel are always closed during wrist state up or resting membrane potential of the new the voltage gated channel are closed and during uh, the active state of the neuron the voltage gated channel are always open uh, now the the green color channel the green color channel represent the leak channel the leak channel are always open throughout the the life of the neuron that may be at rest state that may be at uh, at active stage the, whether the neuron is at rest or uh, at active stage, this leak channel will be will be open. And this leak channel is for sodium and this leak channel is for potassium. For sodium, the leak channel has been uh, um, shown as a small channel and for potassium, the leak channel has been shown a bit larger. Because uh, the leak channel of potassium is very active, uh, uh, pass large number of potassium as compared to the leak channel of the sodium. The leak channel of sodium always um, always pass the sodium from the uh, external environment to the internal environment. It always transfers the sodium from external environment to the internal environment, but in minute amount, in minute quantity. And the uh, leak channel of potassium uh, always transfer the potassium from internal environment to the external environment but not in minute amount it uh, transferred in large amount uh, during rest stage of the neuron and during active stage up during each and every step of the neuron so these are the leak channel which remain open throughout the life of the neuron and this is the sodium potassium ATPase pump this is sodium potassium ATPase pump or ATPase channel. You can also call it channel. This uh, uh, this work actively, and this remain active when the neuron is going from active state to the resting state. When the neuron is going from active state to the resting state, this remain active, and when the neuron is at rest, this do not. Uh, this is at rest and when the neuron is going to uh, from active state to the rest state then this uh, sodium potassium ATPase pump is active. What do the sodium potassium ATPase pump do? Uh, this use ATP uh, for the transfer of uh, sodium from the internal environment to the external environment actively. 
by the consumption of ATPs, it uh, transferred the ATPs from the uh, it transferred the sodium from internal environment to the external environment, uh, and it also transferred the potassium from the external environment to the internal environment by the transfer of each uh, three sodium the two potassium will goes in when the when it pump out uh, three sodium from internal environment to the external environment the two potassium will all will also comes from the in external environment to the internal environment this is mandatory that uh, by the transfer of three sodium from internal environment to the external environment the two potassium will be transferred from the external environment to the internal environment and these goes activity and this help in the uh, maintenance of the resting state or uh, this help in the uh, achieving of the resting state from the active state uh, it uh, make the external environment positive and it make the internal environment negative so when the internal environment become uh, negative and the external environment become positive this shows the resting state uh, and the uh, active state uh, during active state the internal environment become uh, positive and the external environment become negative the internal environment become uh, plus 30 in the active state so uh, what uh, happen during uh, action potential during action potential a stimulus will uh, stimulate uh, the uh, this these voltage gated channel and these voltage gated channel get opened when the uh, intensity of the stimulus is greater than 15 millivolt if the uh, intensity of the stimulus is greater than 15 millivolt what will happen the, this uh, stimulus will open the the voltage gated sodium channel not the potassium channel only the sodium channel will get open and when the sodium channel get open the sodium which is uh, very in large quantity in the external environment will rush into the internal environment the external environment is always rich in sodium and positive charge so the all the positive charge will rush from the external from the external environment into the internal environment and this rushing of the uh, sodium from the internal environment from the external environment to the internal environment will uh, will make what it will make a peak over here this one it will make it will make the internal environment very positive it will make the internal internal environment from 70 from minus 70 to plus 30 so this rushing up the uh, internal environment from minus to plus from minus 70 to plus 30 this state uh, this state is called depolarization depolarization is actually the conversion of uh, minus internal state into positive internal state the conversion of uh, negative in, uh, internal state into positive internal state this is repolar this is depolarization depolarization is actually the conversion of the conversion of and this is a brief conversion this conversion is for many second this conversion is very for well, it's for very short time when the internal environment become positive for very short time and the external environment become negative for very short time and the voltage uh, and the voltmeter we can see uh, goes to plus 30 this is called depolarization this de depolarization is one of one of the step of the action potential the second step of the action potential is repolarization this is the step which is repolarization in the repolarization what will happen now coming toward this diagram in this diagram we can see that we have potassium voltage gated potassium channel and voltage gated potassium channel open a bit late from the voltage gated sodium channel when the voltage gated sodium channel become closed the voltage gated potassium channel become opened and when voltage gated potassium channel become open what is the function of the voltage gated potassium channel it will leak out all the potassium from the internal environment to the external environment it will leak out the function of the potassium channel or voltage gated potassium channel is to leak out the in the, the potassium from the internal environment to the external environment the function of the voltage gated sodium channel was to uh, was to transfer the sodium from the external environment to the internal environment and make the internal environment positive while 
the function of the voltage gated potassium channel is to uh, is to leak out the potassium from the internal environment to the external environment and make the internal environment negative and make the internal environment negative comparably so this this leak out of the potassium abrupt leak out of the potassium by the opening of the potassium uh, voltage gated potassium channel will do what it will it will it will do what it will it will give a very big shift from the positive towards negative and this shift from positive from plus 30 to minus 70 this is called this is called repolarization because the membrane is again polarized the membrane is membrane will go again polarized the membrane will become polarized again so this is this is a polarized membrane and this is a depolarized membrane because here there is a depolarization so the membrane will once again become uh, uh, repolarized so this repolarization is to bring back this uh, needle from plus 30 to minus 70 this bringing back of uh, needle from plus 30 to minus uh, 70 are bringing back up the in the potential from plus 30 to minus 70 uh, that is called repolarization and that repolarization occur with the help of what with the help of uh, with the help of potassium channel this this line has been given by the potassium channel voltage gated potassium channel and this has been given by the voltage gated sodium channel in some of the muscle the sodium potassium antiphase pump also help in the uh, in the shifting up uh, this uh, charge from positive to negative the sodium potassium antiphase pump also help in the uh, conversion of internal environment from positive to negative again but uh, in a lot of neuron in large number of neuron the internal environment become negative with the help of only potassium pump now uh, what will happen when it become minus 70 what will happen again again over here the uh, the potassium uh, pump are the, the potassium the leak channel the leak channel are open the leak channel are still open so the leak channel will do what the leak channel will uh, transfer the potassium from the internal environment to the external environment and uh, it will the leak channel of sodium will transfer the sodium from the in external environment to the internal environment. but this is very minute amount of uh, sodium which is uh, which come by the leak channel of sodium and the uh, leak channel of potassium will leak out a lot of potassium from the external you know, internal environment to the external environment so that will that the leak channel will uh, will make this one it will decrease the electric potential from minus 70 to up to minus 90 it can reach up to minus 100 so this uh, decrease in the electric potential of the internal environment uh, due to the leak channel or due to the uh, further uh, repolarization uh, this is called hyperpolarization so this hyperpolarization occurs after every action potential after this is active this is action potential action action potential is actually the depolarization and then the repolarization and after each uh, uh, repolarization of the uh, action potential uh, uh, a hyperpolarization step is always there this hyperpolarization occur when the leak channel are still open and it push out all the potassium from the external from the internal environment to the external environment but uh, at uh, at the stage um, uh, there is a complete equilibrium and that at that equilibrium the resting membrane potential is achieved uh, when the potassium uh, leak pump and the, the sodium uh, leak pump uh, push out uh, equal amount of sodium or when the uh, internal environment uh, become minus 70 so that is actually this stage uh, so this was all about the uh, action potential now coming towards the node of Ranveer what is the uh, function of node of Ranveer Ran node of Ranveer is actually the non myelinated part of the neuron in the peripheral nervous system the are the central nervous system the non myelinated portion of the neuron is node of Ranveer and this is called internode where there is myelination 
So what is the difference between the non-myelinated and myelinated form? When the action potential travel from this area to this area, so the action potential transfer are the uh, in the form of the channel voltage gated channel voltage gated channel get open from this side to this side and this voltage gated channel goes and goes and goes when it reaches over here what will happen you know that the external environment is very rich in sodium especially sodium the external environment is very rich in positive charge and specially that is sodium while the internal environment is uh, very uh, rich in protein which is uh, uh, which are mostly negative charge so the internal environment is considered negative because of the presence of protein and large number of negative charges also but the inter the external environment is considered very positive and the sodium ions are in large amount always or uh, here in the external environment but uh, the sodium which are over here in the node upper and veer and over here in the node upper and veer can interrupt the action potential how can they enter they can enter because when the action potential reaches at this point at this point the voltage gated channel get open and when the voltage gated channel at this point get open the sodium from the external environment will rush into the internal environment the sodium from external environment will rush into the external environment still when the action potential transfer from this area to this area the sodium can uh, the sodium also rush from this uh, external environment to the internal environment but over here the sodium are in very minute amount which can only transfer the signal which can only uh, transfer the the action potential but uh, when this action potential reaches over here what will happen this will open a lot of channel over here and those channel will pass the sodium from external environment to the internal environment what will happen when the lot of sodium get into the internal environment through the channel because the channel are opened over here normally these sodium cannot pass this membrane normally this sodium cannot come from the external environment to the internal environment it can only come when there is an action potential when there is uh, the, the opening of voltage gated channel then the sodium from the external environment goes into the internal environment and that sodium goes from the internal from the external environment into the internal environment it will make a very intensity or uh, intensified uh, action potential and that uh, intensified uh, action potential will jump from this uh, area to this area and this jump from this area to this area this will this will be in very short time because the large number of sodium come in large number of charges will make a very uh, intensified electric potential or uh, a very intensified action potential and that will transfer that will be transferred from this area to this area in a brief uh, time uh, once again when it reaches over here the uh, the sodium from external environment will again go to the internal environment with the help of open channel when the channel get open that will rush into the internal environment and once again there will be a, a big jump from this area to this area and uh, when it reaches over here again this uh, while traveling to the myelinated form or to the myelinated part the intensity become dampened 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 but when it reaches over here again this intensity is uh, again intensified the intensity of the action potential is again uh, exaggerated and that uh, exaggerated form of uh, uh, action potential which in, when it transferred through the uh, nodes from this node to this node that is called saltatory conduction this form of conduction from this node to this node in the form of jumps that is called saltatory conduction i'm going to write it with saltatory conduction saltatory conduction is actually the conduction in the form of saltair saltair is saltair mean to jump 
the conduction of the action potential from one node to another node in the form of jumps and in, in the intensified form so the what is the function of node of run v the function of the node of run v is to intensify the the action potential and uh, and uh, uh, and avoid the dampening of the uh, actual action potential if uh, there was no uh, if there was no node over here and the whole uh, exon part uh, is myelinated what will happen this action potential will be transferred from this area to this area but it will not reach to the final stage but uh, um, uh, again if it reaches to the final uh, to the exonal terminal what will happen this will be in very uh, a very dampened form so to avoid the dampening of the electric signal or to avoid the dampening of the stimulus what is there there is a node of Ranvir and node of Ranvir help to uh, intensify the action potential and to make the signal very uh, to make the signal to transfer to get transfer from one part to another in a very short time in a very intensified form so uh, this is the the function of the node of Ranveer